Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Good news, everybody. They caught that guy that escaped. That's from, good, from yeah. Prison. Yeah, that's very good. I escaped a Southern Desert Correctional Center in Indian Springs. Uh, we found that out on Tuesday, mm -hmm. uh, and he escaped on Friday. Mm -hmm. So that was a significant amount of days. And yeah, he so weird. got kind of far. Not sure how he got as far as he did, but Eastern and Owens is where they found him. Uh, Porfirio Duarte Herrera, he was uh, one of a couple people that were busted for a pipe bomb that exploded at Luxor. He was the friend of someone that was trying to get back at his ex who had a new lover. I, I yeah. believe, I remember when the trial was going on in 2010, but I also remember watching a Dateline on it for sure. Yeah. It was, yeah, pretty crazy. It was certainly crazy. And thankfully, he was caught somebody with an eagle eye, said, hmm, that guy looks familiar, called 911. He had a bus ticket heading to Mexico when they found him. So Yum! Almost had it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You almost, almost had it. You almost done. Oh, God. Adios, Mia. Uh, hey, night's great game yesterday. Of mm -hmm. course, it doesn't matter because it's preseason. 7-1 mm -hmm. final against the um, Stanley Cup champion, Colorado Avalanche. Seven different players scored. Seven different players. Zach Whitecloud, though, he was coming out smelling like roses. Four assists on the night. Awesome. Really good game for him, a breakout night. Uh, playing the Sharks tomorrow night here in Vegas. Speaking of the nights, they announced yesterday they're going to be honoring one October victims and first responders on Saturday for the fifth anniversary mm -hmm. of the shooting, which is unbelievable. It's been five years. Uh, they're going to unveil a BGK-themed uh, Metro Cruiser, going to hold a blood drive at City National Arena, and uh, players are going to visit with police and fire personnel throughout the day as well. I remember that year uh, when that happened, it was kind of like, who are these guys? Yeah. You know, who are these people? We don't know most of these people. We know Flurry, but the rest, who are these people? Right. And uh, to see like what the team ended up doing that mm -hmm. year to lift the spirits. Right. There were no nights. Spirits weren't getting lifted for a bit. No, it exactly. Was, oh, man, unbelievable. That's such a special freaking moment in the mm -hmm. city. I can't stand it. Every time I talk about it, it gets me crazy. Yep. Uh, and then finally, really sad news in the world of hip-hop, uh, losing artist Leon Ivy Jr., otherwise known as Coolio. Very sad. Only 59 years old. Too young. Way too young. Way, way too young. He was at a, a friend's house in L.A., uh, said he had to go to the bathroom, and he didn't come out. And friend was like, what's going on? Tried to get into the bathroom, couldn't get in, uh, broke down the door unresponsive. They worked on him for a while. Couldn't get him 45 minutes, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, really, really sad. Uh, Linton Henderson had a studio there. He was performing at an Aces game not too long ago. Mm -hmm. So very sad to hear about the passing of Coolio. We were going to play another song, but we realized every single song uh, that we're coming across has words we can't That's have. That's a so, bad word. So this one we play again because, frankly, let's call it what it is. This Great is the song. one that Weird Al covered. Mm -hmm. And if, if that's the case, you know it's a hit. <laughs> Where's Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah, 127 BGS.